Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun little get ready with me. I'm actually just about to head out, so I did film how I did my makeup today and also my hair. This has been my favorite way to style my hair lately. I just love how much body it has, how much volume it has, and it's nice and shiny. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I get the style. Plus we'll also pick out my outfit and things like that. So I hope that you guys enjoy and let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with my hair. I did just film my makeup, which I will put in at the end of the hair tutorial. And I'm so excited to be partnering with Dyson today using their Airwrap Styler. This has been how I've been achieving those beautiful, big, voluminous waves that you guys have seen in some of my recent videos. It did take me a while to figure out how to use this, but once I did, I could not stop. I love how versatile this whole kit is. You can curl your hair you can wave your hair you can straighten your hair and of course it also comes with a blow dryer so you can really create a lot of different looks and I also love that there is no extreme heat involved in this hair tool so once it's on when you touch it it's not like you're not gonna burn yourself and it doesn't burn your hair and I just love how it makes my hair look it literally looks like I just stepped out of a salon it's super bouncy and voluminous and it has a nice shine to it and what's really cool as well is that you start with slightly damp hair so it will simultaneously dry and style your hair at the same time and of course with their intelligent heat control your hair is not going to get too hot so you're not going to be damaging your hair in the long run it actually measures the temperature over 40 times a second to help protect the hair's natural shine so it's a very cool innovative tool and another really cool feature is of course the fact that this will grab and wrap the hair around the barrel it's called the kawanda effect and that's how it attracts and wraps the hair around the barrel just using air and this will both smooth and curl your hair so there's so many cool features to this and overall I just love how it makes my hair look so I'm very excited to be showing you how I personally use this tool so it comes in this very beautiful box and everything is nice and organized inside so these are all of the attachments that you get and of course the styler this one right here is usually here on the bottom so you can keep everything nice and organized so you've got your pre-styling dryer this is like a little mini version of their hair dryer you get two sets of styling barrels one is 1.2 inches and this is 1.6 inches this will obviously give you a little bit of a tighter wave and then this will give you a little bit of a looser one they did just recently launch some new attachments and these are one of them so they are the longer version of these ones so if you have longer hair you know like medium to long hair then these will be perfect and they are my favorite and then you've got two smoothing brushes these are if you want to make your hair nice and straight and silky this one is the firm one and then this is the soft one i will be using the firm one for just the tops of my hair at the end. And then of course you also have their volumizing round brush. This in itself is quite iconic, especially if you like that very salon kind of blowout type of hair. I will show you how I use this as well. But the first attachment that I use is their pre-styling dryer. So I just hold this little lock button down and then release and it attaches onto the component. So this features three different heat options. You've got cool, warm, and hot, and then three different levels of airflow intensity. And then you've got the main button over here. This is how you turn it on, and if you hold it all the way up, you will get a cool flow of air, which is how you want to set the curls or any of the styles that you do. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my hair out and then just brush through it. So what I first do is I will just flip my head over and blow dry the roots of my hair. I love to do this for extra volume at the roots. And then you also need your hair to be like 80% dry. So it shouldn't be like soaking wet. So that is what this attachment is for. I'm first just going to section off the top part of my hair. So I'm now going to take my volumizing brush, which is this one right here, and just 
clip it in and I like to do this on the bottom part of the hair you can definitely use this for all of your hair but I want to show you guys a few different attachments and show you the look that they give and how I like to use them so this is basically like a blow dryer and a round brush all in one you do have to twist this one it's not going to wrap the hair for you but I like that you get a lot of control and you can really smooth out the hair as you are drying it button up for the cool shot and then turn it off and release and you get something like that so tons of volume so I'm gonna repeat this all over the bottom section of my hair and by the way I keep the heat on the medium setting when it comes to blow drying your hair or round brushing your hair is to always make sure to pull the hair outwards and away from your face so instead of like pulling downwards which would still dry the hair you really want to create that volume at the root so you want to go out from your head like that So this is what my hair looks like using the round brush attachment and of course you can use this for your entire head of hair as well it is so hot today i'm literally sweating all over i think it's around 31 degrees celsius which i'll put up somewhere here in fahrenheit but it is hot and i'm humid so i've just applied a little bit of hairspray to help to keep the waves so i'm going to curl the rest of my hair using the long 1.6 inch barrels you get two barrels and as you can see they've got arrows on them this is for you to know the direction of the airflow and how the curl will turn out so i'm going to start with my left side So I've sectioned off about that big of a piece. I like to have my waves going away from my face. You can see the arrow here is pointing away from my face. It's going to be on this side. So if I look in my mirror right now, the arrow is pointing outwards, which is what we want. So now you're going to see this Kawanda effect in action where it attracts and wraps the hair around the barrel just using air. So we'll both smooth the hair because of that airflow and of course it will also curl it because the shape of the wand and again without getting really, really hot. So a big tip with this is to only turn it on once it is next to the hair. You want to make sure that you leave out a piece of hair as you're holding it so that the tool can attract and grab that hair. So I've got the tool under the hair. I turn it on. It will grab it and let it go. And if you have very long hair, you can just kind of press this up to make sure that the barrel will wrap every single piece of hair. And I'm going to do the cool shot. Turn it off. And there you go. Beautiful, smooth curl. So 
this side is now done i'm going to switch the barrels Again, just as with the volumizing brush, you want to make sure that you're holding the tool kind of at an angle and away from your head, and this way you're going to get the most volume at the root. Before this top part of my hair, I like to have a middle part so I'll just find the center and divide the hair my hair is quite naturally frizzy and when I'm done styling with the barrel you see how shiny it is and of course it has that nice curl so it really does smooth the hair at the same time as it's curling it. You can see how shiny and glossy that is. are now done and now we are going to perfect the style so at this point I will go through and see if I want to add any more curls to the hair just to show you a little example I'm gonna take this section of hair here and I just want a little bit more curl up here at the top so I'm gonna take my tool turn it on and let it go so you can see it still curls the hair even if it's dry so you can always you know go back in and just touch up in any areas where you want and now for the last attachment that i like to use it is the firm smoothing brush which looks like this this is the one without the little balls on the ends of the bristles so this is really great if you just want to smooth out and straighten your hair um, or tame frizz if you don't want to necessarily do waves but another really great way to use this is for the tops of your hair if you find like for me i get quite a lot of like little frizzy bits right here so what i'm going to do is turn this on and then i'm just going to brush down and that's going to help to tame those little frizzy hairs So here is my hair done using the Dyson Airwrap. I love how this looks. It's so shiny, it has so much volume and like bounce to it. As the day goes on, these curls will loosen up and they'll become more of like a soft wave. And sometimes I will change the parting, so I'll kind of just like flip my hair over on one side and that gives it that really nice like oomph and body in front of the face. But right now I'm really loving it just parted down the middle. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it did take me a few times to actually get used to the tool and understand it. But once I got the hang of it and I figured out some good techniques and like tips that I shared with you guys, I can't stop using it. And I, again, I just love the effect that it gives my hair. I like that it dries my hair at the same time as it's styling. The set is a little bit pricey, but if you are somebody who likes to invest in their hair and if you're often going to a salon to get a professional blowout, I think 
think it's worth it in the long run since you are able to get a very similar style at home plus you do get a lot of different attachments you can curl your hair you can wave your hair you can smooth out your hair and of course you also get the blow dry attachment that you can use you know as a blow dryer so you guys can visit dyson.com to learn more about the dyson air app and their new attachments i'll make sure to have the link for that down below in the description box now i'm going to show you guys how i did my makeup this morning and then we'll go and pick an outfit today so I think I'm gonna wear some shorts and actually really like these white ones they are really nice and comfy and very like lightweight and airy and for my top I want to wear a blouse I'm thinking something in this direction this pink one is so cute but it has kind of a high neck and a high back um, I think this is gonna be a bit too hot but this one is also really nice kind of similar I absolutely love the print and the color This is my look today. I've got on those white shorts and this beautiful flowy blouse. I actually love how it cinches in at the back. It has that bit of ruching there. In jewelry, I just kept very simple and minimal. This necklace is from Fedoma. It's this nice like little pendant necklace. I've got on my little gold hoops and my ring. And that is my look today. So we're gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I might still film some clips when we're out and if I do, I'll make sure to put them in here at the end. And also if you wanna learn more about the Dyson tool that I used for my hair, then make sure to check the link in the description box down below. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye guys.